we're Capital Tweets. I'm Rachel Perlman. I'm a PhD student in Institute for Data Systems and Society, and I'm originally from Arlington, Massachusetts. And I'm Dan Pasquale. I am a Master of Engineering student in the Department of Civil and Environmental Engineering, and I'm originally from Newton, Massachusetts. Twitter is a big deal, but not just for celebrities. Politicians are using Twitter to connect with their constituents more quickly than ever before. And when decision makers speak their minds, there can be consequences. Our president isn't the only politician who tweets. All 100 of our senators and nearly all of our representatives have verified Twitter accounts. What if there was an easy way to keep tabs on what our Congress is tweeting? Capital Tweets will allow you to analyze the 140 character thoughts of our elected officials. We envision a web-based platform that provides interactive visual summaries of Twitter content. The tool will allow users to search congressional tweets for various terms, generate word clouds for individuals, and compare tweet content by categories such as political party. How will Capital Tweets work? The tool will run on any browser, but will be optimized for Google Chrome. We will use the Twitter API to generate JSON objects that contain hundreds of recent tweets from each Twitter user account of interest. The tool will use JavaScript to mine interesting information such as tweet text, number of retweets, and number of favorites. We will parse the tweet text to carry out an analysis of word frequency and topic identification. Behind the scenes, we'll be referencing a spreadsheet containing the demographics and party affiliation of all Congress members. Using Google Charts, we will display relationships between the demographic information and the textual analysis. For instance, the tool could show the number of times Democrats versus Republicans mentioned the word Trump in their tweets. In addition, we'll be using a publicly available word cloud visualization tool such as NPM's word cloud package. There are a few issues that we need to address. First, there are pros and cons of saving the tweet data locally versus fetching the tweets in real time. We would like to fetch the data in real time, but we are concerned that our requests will potentially be denied by Twitter. Second, we anticipate being challenged by making the user interface simple to use while still having a sufficient number of features. So what's next? We will be working on a proof of concept to ensure that we can parse a sufficient number of tweets to provide an interesting analysis. First, we will use pseudocode to outline our ideas and then try to implement them with JavaScript. Another task will be to start thinking about the look and feel of our program. We will see you in the next deliverable. We'll see, see you, you in, the in the next deliverable. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>